what's up what's up you guys welcome back to another video to all my LV besties out there I hope you guys are all having a great Saturday and I just wanted to get on here and do a video that I have not done before because I've been trying to like like think of new things to come up with that's not always just an unboxing I mean of course I would love to do an unboxing every chance I got but you know I mean that just that's just not possible which I could but you know can't okay so in the mix of all of our craziness going on I've been trying to pull together some videos that I can do and yeah I'm literally you guys like the stuff behind me is like to last to be like boxed up I can like do these videos with something pretty behind me <laughs> and also like whenever I get an office because I don't have an office right now when I get one set up I'm not gonna have this glass display case behind me because you can see the ring light in the reflection and I hate that like it drives me nuts when I'm watching my video and I say that ring light so I'm gonna have like some shelves or something set up that's cute but anyways I kind of have like a lot to talk about today or just to kind of go over and that being one that whenever I move I'm gonna have like a different type of thing behind me and I really don't know like how I want to do it but I'll probably like have like a cute shelf and like change out my bags every video just so they they can all be shown just not the display case because it's a little bit annoying seeing that but anyways moving on to something else so I've been trying to think of what I can do for my giveaway when I reach 1k subs so I will tell you guys what I'm gonna do with that in just one minute but I'm gonna back it up to what a friend of mine that I met through YouTube love her her name is Amy Michelle what she suggested that I do up until I reach 1,000 subscribers and her idea was brilliant because she knows how much I love to do giveaways and yeah I don't know why I didn't think of this myself like this is so that this is such a great idea so she recommended that every time I get a new hundred subscribers I should do like a small giveaway and then when I reach 1,000 do a bigger giveaway like that and I thought you know what that is like I, that is like awesome that is like an awesome idea because the thing she was mentioning was like the Chanel compact mirror um like purse charms that you can get off of Etsy or dress up my bag you know just things like that like perfume samples in like a little bag from Louis Vuitton that I already have laying around that I don't use you know just just all kinds of different things that she suggested and then I started racking my brain my brain went into full thinking mode okay and uh, does that even make sense I don't know I don't know but it that's what I'm calling it full thinking mode and I that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm going I have been sitting here thinking of like some really cute things that I can give away every per hundred that I subscribers that I get so when I reach 600 subscribers which you guys I'm already at let me check I want to say 556 let's see here let me tell you guys where I am. I am at 558, so I don't have a whole lot to go to reach 600, okay? So when I reach 600, here's what I'm going to give. I've been talking about doing a giveaway for this black Empreinte pouch that it has never been used. It came out of a, a purse that I had bought my daughter, and it will make a really cute pouch. It's just I have so many already, and like it's a solid leather on the inside, by the way. So, she's not using it, and, I, you know, like, there's no sense in things just sitting and not getting used. So, I thought this would be something good to give away, and I asked for everybody's opinions, and everybody was, like, on board for me to do a giveaway with this. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. When I reach 600 subscribers, I'm going to do a video and have you comment black on plant. I don't know, pouch, whatever word I come up with. I'm going to do it to where everybody can participate, okay? So instead of like I did last time, whoever got the most people to subscribe and comment, that really didn't even go over that well. Like really, I only had about three people participate in that. And and Winnie B that won it, she was my main one that did. And I, and I never really thought about it, but a lot of people I have on my YouTube channel are not YouTubers. They don't have YouTube channels. They're just people watching them. 
and if you don't get this thing that we do like this this luxury purse thing that we all like and enjoy that's on my channel then a lot of people don't care to subscribe to that you know what I'm saying so like I want to do something that one that all of my subscribers can actually participate in so nobody will be left out and yeah it's going one thing I have to say though is I'm probably going to have to keep it within the United States and that is due to the shipping cost okay the shipping cost is outrageous and then not only that but it's I don't know like I it's hard to deal with international shipping and so I really don't want to do that and I hate that because I probably have a lot of subscribers that are in different I know I do because I'm friends with them and I really hate that but I don't gosh you guys it costs so much to ship something out of the United States and I, I hate that part but maybe later on down the road I can do it that way and yeah the first giveaway that, that I did when I reached 100 subscribers I left it for international I was just going to leave it that way and and I did and it just so happened the lady that won I want to say she was out of Georgia North Carolina North Carolina I think it was so I looked out there and then someone had told me that I might want to check on the international shippings when I do my giveaways because they're very expensive and y'all they are so I, I apologize on that part but like I said maybe later on I can get to that but right now I'm just gonna have to keep it in the US and I'm so sorry but yeah anyway so yeah so my first giveaway when I reach 600 subs will be this black on front pouch and you guys, I'm over halfway there, so it's not going to be much longer that one of you guys will be winning this pouch. And then, y'all can also leave me some comments recommending some things that I could do as giveaways, because I would love to hear, like, some things that you guys would want, okay? And, I mean, just like anything, like, just leave, like, a reason, within reason, <laughs> within, like, reasonable prices. This is going to be so fun, and you guys, I will probably do it all the way to, like, two, three, four thousand. I don't know, like, I just... Like, that just sounds like a blast to me. I'm so, like, excited to do this. And I'm so glad that Amy thought of that. Like, the, the best way to give back is give back more often with things that cost less. And then when you reach the, the bigger ones, like the 1K, 2K, 3K, then give something that costs a little more. Okay. So, brilliant idea, Amy. And thank you for that. And I'm going to do it. Starting once I reach 600. Okay. So, another thing I want to ask your guys' opinion on. I did a coach unboxing not too long ago. All right. I loved both bags that I got. I did. But here's the thing. I cannot bring myself to cut a strap off. You guys, I know I, I, I know like I talked about how I wanted to cut. Let me just grab the bag. I know I talked about how bad I wanted to cut this strap off because I did not like the way that it like kind of went into my side because I am a crossbody for the most part or shoulder wearing person I rarely wear a bag on in the crook of my arm now I will say this handle is good enough to wear on your shoulder like this so you can even take the strap off and wear it on your shoulder I just don't see myself doing it you may all love it like that and I, and I hope y'all do because this is a beautiful 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 bag I mean really and truly like I love this bag I just myself have an issue with this strap. And I really do think that the reason they made this strap so long is so that you can just wear it on your shoulder and, and it just be like right up underneath your arm. But you guys, I have artsy bags that are that way. I have the graceful bags that are that way. I have the never full bags that are that way. And I have even some smaller bags that can be used like that as an option. All right. I rarely carry those, ba carry those bags, okay? Now, I love them. They're, I'm not going to get rid of those because they're iconic bags. I mean, they're Louis Vuitton, and Louis Vuitton is my thing, and you guys know that. But I don't think I want to add any more to my collection due to the fact that I don't carry them as much as they deserve to be carried, and it's mainly because right underneath my arm. I've been carrying my Graceful MM for the past... I don't know month I just recently switched it over it didn't bother me but again it's all I can do to go to those bags when I know I can carry a crossbody or 
a shoulder bag that hangs lower. That, those are just more of my go-to bags. As much as I love the look of those bags, they are just ones that I rarely do go to. They really are. And with having a bad back, they're, very, they're just not as practical of a bag for me as one I can be hands-free with and throw over as a crossbody or a backpack or, or whatever. I mean, my Neon OAs, they're really the same way too. I mean, they're, they, they're like this pretty much. But I can lengthen that strap and carry it crossbody or as as a longer shoulder bag and the handle not get in the way. This handle gets in the way if I do that. So what do you guys think about this being my prize to somebody when I reach 1,000 subscribers? What do you guys think? And, and give me your honest opinion. If y'all do not think like this is a good gift to give, let me know. Okay, but the reason I thought about it is because I can't do it. You got, I cannot cut this beautiful strap off. This pink is just what gives this bag the look like that it has along with the strap. Like it matches the strap so perfectly. It matches the inside of the bag so perfectly. The pink leather. This is pink leather. This is pink leather. Like this is such a beautiful bag and to just tear it up or take it off I can't do it I just can't do it I can't I can't so let me know in the comments if you would be interested in winning this bag once I reach 1,000 subscribers now I don't have a actual coach box because it didn't come with one but I'll box it up in one of my Louis Vuitton boxes or something just to keep it like out of the way but definitely like she won't come with a box or y'all there's Coco. She definitely, Coco, stop. She definitely won't come with a box or a dust bag, but I can promise you guys, she's not going to be used. I'm going to keep her put up, and once I get there, she can be somebody's great bag. Just one more look at her. If you guys don't think it would be a good, great gift, I will probably just sell it because somebody out there would love to carry it just the way it is you know this may not ever bother anybody and yeah I mean we all have different opinions you know and to me it's just not worth taking this strap off this pretty bag I'd rather somebody else have it and get a lot of great use out of it and then again I just I cannot bring myself to, to cutting that off nope 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 I'd rather one of you guys have it I really would so y'all let me know if y'all think that would be a good giveaway or not because if y'all don't think so then I need to start thinking of something else to do okay but yeah, so every 100 subscribers that I get, I am going to do a cool little giveaway, starting with the black on front pouch, okay? So, I guess that's the other thing, only other thing I really needed to talk to you guys about, other than my allergies are in full swing. It's every day. <laughs> it is every single day, just about, that I have allergy issues, but we had to go meet um, some people at our land so they could give us an estimate on stuff so I got up earlier and put makeup on and now my makeup is kind of like my like the eyeliner and stuff is kind of like running it's so I know my makeup's looking like crap on here I'm I apologize you guys but this is real this is real life this is me but anyway so on to my video today what I'm going to do and that is a this or that video okay I am going to compare two bags that are almost the same size and I wrote some things down about each of them and let you guys choose this one or that one because they're two different brands and yet they're about the same size so yeah let's choose this or that okay I would love to know which one you guys would choose because both of these bags are amazing bags and you couldn't go wrong with either one so I will let you guys know which one I would choose okay if I can't if I can even do it I don't even know if I can do it but I'll let you guys know I'm going to let you guys know everything I can to show you guys the similarities of this bag, but the difference of them also, okay? So let's get started. So the first one I'm going to show you is my YSL Lulu bag in dark beige. Okay, and this is one that I got off a of fashion file. I had her on reserve for a good while and paid her out. She came in brand new condition and she literally is exactly that she, she you can tell she has never been used she was in perfect brand new condition when I got her I have never received anything that wasn't exactly what they said 
but I stick to the excellent condition or new condition because, yeah, I already told you guys, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to dish out hundreds of dollars for bags that are all scuffed up with marks on the insides, marks on the outsides, cracking, in the in glazing, and I, yeah, no, I'm just not. So, anyways, all right, let's get back to it. Calm down, sister. Calm down. That's what I need to do. Okay. Taking a, taking a breath here because I get a little carried away when I start talking about my bags. I do, but they're just my little besties, okay? Just like you guys. You guys are more important though. Okay, okay, again, I'm getting off subject. The Lulu small bag. So, she is 100% calfskin leather. That's a big plus right there. Her measurements are 9.8 in length, 6.6 .6 in height, and 3.5 in width okay the one thing about this one is she does she has one strap that's it okay she doesn't have a top handle one and you can't adjust it to the fit any length that you want like this is your length okay you do have options of wearing it at different lengths like I mean you can use it like this and throw it on crossbody and I'm 5'4 I'm in pajama pants today you guys so I'm not gonna stand up okay I'm not gonna show you guys those you don't want to see I promise you like yeah no Okay, so anyways, I'm 5'4", and she hits me at a perfect length crossbody. So you can use it like that, or you can, which would fit just about anybody's size, height, whatever, by throwing her on as a shoulder bag. You can use it as a shoulder bag with this length, and then she does extend pretty well for a shoulder bag and for crossbody as well. But that is one thing that's different about this bag, is that she does not have... An adjustable or removable strap of any kind so what you get on the strap is what you get okay now if I could add one thing to this bag I would have added a back pocket back here to keep my phone in because that is my favorite type of designed bag is one that has a zipper pocket and I prefer it in the back because nobody sees it when it's next to your body but because obviously you couldn't put it in the front of one of these bags but I do like bags that you can stick it in the front also I just prefer them to be in the back so they're hidden so if other than that I think she is designed beautiful she's got the bronze gold hardware it's got a magnetic clip right here so you open her up let me take out the tissue that I stuff her with and she is really big and roomy on the inside and she has textile lining in there and so she's got a big pocket right here a big pocket right there and then she has a zipper pocket in the middle okay so oh and she's got a, a leather pocket at the back of the bag also and and I do like that she has the snap closure snap closures to me are like ideal on bags I love them as long as they have a good magnet in them I love snap closures it's just perfect 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 so this is the YSL small Lulu I want to say it's called like Matalise Y leather bag something like that I, I, did, I did not write that part down but I remember those few words okay y'all y'all bear with me I am not up on the YSL I remember seeing Matalise Y something yeah so that is, this is her so cute so pretty the chain it kind of gets annoying because you have to move it all around all the time but that's okay she's worth it she's worth it because she's a beauty so there is that one so we are going to compare her to the and let's move her back over here even though y'all probably can't see her very well um we're going to compare her to the new Louis Vuitton Diane bag okay and I'll first start off and tell y'all a little bit about her little self and I'll give y'all her measurements first and she is 9.4 inches in length so she's just barely off from the YSL bag she is 5.9 inches in height where the YSL is 6.6 .6, so she's a little bit shorter and then her width is exactly the same as the YSL and it's 3.5 so they both are have the same width except I do think the YSL bag it will extend out further because this bag is like a puffy bag and it, it's going to give more than this canvas bag and I don't push my bags I don't I don't like to stretch my bags out so what fits nicely in her is what goes in her and what fits nicely in her is what goes in her okay I, I don't I don't play those kind of games okay I don't 
Mm -mm. Not on my bags, girl. No, no, no. All right, and the other thing about her is she is a monogram coated canvas bag. As you can all see that. Her leather is treated, and I love that. She's made to look aged and vintage, and oh, I love that because, um, yeah, I am so digging these vintage looking bags, you guys. I literally love them, okay? And then also, here's what I love. She has the back pocket back here, okay? So I can easily stick my phone right back here and never have to touch the inside of my bag with my phone. So she has that part, and that's one of the things that I do love about her. And then she has the top handle, so you can carry her like this if you want. But she also has a strap where the YSL does not have the options of how the straps work. She does have that, okay? So she came with this strap. I know I have showed you guys this before. This is not the strap that I will wear with her. However, I am going to show it to you because that is what she came with, okay? So when you're choosing this or that, you know that this is the strap that came with this bag. I, however, will use, when I use this bag, will use my monogram canvas strap and it looks beautiful on her I love it that way I'll show you guys in another video how that looks okay just by changing the strap here's one thing you do need to know is this one is not adjustable but neither is this one okay so this one is definitely not adjustable it's just removable and not only is it not adjustable, but it's a very short strap. Where this strap on the YSL bag, you're getting a decent size long strap. Myself at 5'4", she fits perfect. I think 5'5", five, five, perfect. 5'3", five, perfect. You, you guys understand what I'm saying. You're not going to get that with this strap. Now, however, you can add some extenders to these straps and make them extend out longer. Yeah, so that's the thing that you do need to know if you order this bag and you don't have extenders and you want a long strap, you're not getting a long strap, okay? You're not. You're, this, you're getting this. You're just getting this, okay? That's, that's all I can say about that. And then you're getting it with these wild colors to mix with the monogram print. Oh, and also, this one has a snap closure. So they both have snap closure um, openings in the front. That's the same. So you open her up. And she's just got one good size compartment right there. And then in the zipper, she also has a textile lining as well. Just like the YSL bag has. So you are not, you do not have any dividers in here, whereas you do have some dividers in here and have the zipper pocket in the middle of that one. Okay. So that is the inside of her. And I'm trying to think if there's anything I've left out on, on this or that one. I don't think there is. No. I do feel like they're going to fit about the same things inside of them. But another thing I want to tell you guys is to compare them purse to purse, bag to bag, whatever you want to call it, brand to brand, is they do cost right about the same amount of money. So the Diane bag, because I'm having a look, was $22.30 before tax. The Lulu bag is $22.90 before tax. So you're paying about the same amount of money for both bags, okay? So it's actually just a preference at this point. Which do you prefer? The things I like more about this is it has the three compartments on the inside. I like that zipper pocket pocket in the middle. I like that it, I, it, that it fits perfectly on my body as a crossbody. I love that. And I just think that puffy look is just such a like cool look right now. Like, I don't know. I really, really am loving the puffy looking bags. So I like that part. I like that it's 100% calfskin leather. You know it's made well. However, with this bag, you're, there's probably a chance you could run into some color transfer with certain types of clothing. So that's something different too, or that's something about this bag as well that you're not going to have with this. But yeah, all in all, I don't have any complaints about it. If I would have designed the bag, I would have tried to put a pocket on the back. Now, however, they may have their reasons why they can't. I don't know because I don't make bags. I wish I did, though. That'd be awesome. And then, yeah, so what, So then you have the Diane bag. As I just showed you guys everything about her, I love her, but I do like it that this one has three compartments over this one having just one compartment. 
because I'm a person that loves to be organized. So you guys see where I'm coming from? I can or I can separate my things in here. I can't in here. But that's okay. I have many bags that just have one compartment and I love them. Love them just the same because I love them all. So so it's definitely down to a preference at this point. Which one you guys like better? So you guys let me know. Do you like this? The Louis Vuitton Diane bag? Or do you like that? The YSL small Matalise bag. Okay, which one would you choose if you had to choose? If I had to choose, hands down, I'm going to go with a Diane bag because the most important thing to me is having this back pocket for easy access to my phone and having the different strap options. I love having the removable straps so that I can choose which strap I want and what length I want and all of that. Whereas the YSL bag does not that does not change my feelings for her. I am still very much proud to have this beautiful bag as part of my collection. And I plan on getting the black on black next. I definitely will carry her. So my pick is this. So that is going to wrap up my video for today. Because I've got other things I need to go do. So no telling what time this will be showing up again. You guys always know my times are random. They are. But... That's okay. That's okay. That's how I work. And if you guys would, let me know some suggestions of some things that you would like to win every hundred subscribers I hit because you guys, y'all have a big chance of winning something on every 100 subscribers. That's, that's a lot. And also, choose this or that. Which one would you choose? This, the Diane bag? That, the YSL bag? I'd love to know. And also, if I could ask just one more thing from you guys, please like, share, subscribe to my channel, you guys, and help me grow this because I'm having so much fun doing it. And I love every single day seeing new subscribers when I wake up in the morning and I check my YouTube channel and seeing that my numbers are going up. I literally love that. And I love reading y'all's comments. Y'all are so great on commenting on my videos like so great even if it takes me a day or two to get back to you guys i will get back okay sometimes i just have a lot going on and i can like up a reply to one or two here and i have to come back and reply later on to other people but that's just because it's life you know i'm 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 a busy mom a busy wife a busy everything busy with moving busy with taking my daughter all those cheer practices and all that so i do what i can but i promise you guys i appreciate and love you all and i, I can't thank you guys enough for all that you have already done and so yeah i know that's probably asking a lot out of this video and you don't have to do it that's just something that i just was thought i would bring up and try to get your opinion on all right enough. oh okay ysl um i think she's t telling me stop talking because she's, yeah, that's what she's telling me to do. I'm going to listen to her. So I hope you guys all have a great morning, day, evening, night, whatever the time it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good day. And I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.